and then let's give him a call. Duh. Do, 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 do. Hey, here he is, man of the hour. I was just jamming your music. Hello, hello. How you doing? Hello. Hello, we got you. Hello. Why mate. can't I? I can't see anything. It's no, you can't see me on Discord. You could, you'd have to see me on the on the Twitch. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. It's okay. just because because my 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 streaming platform is using my camera and I can't share it. I see. Are you gonna do that? Are you gonna do that so you can see me drinking coffee? It's not that exciting. Yeah, I want to see your face. Okay, <laughs> weird. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's Jesse Rath, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ones in the chat for Jesse Rath. He's here. He's he's repping the Robin hoodie. That's yes. sweet. Where'd you get that? Gorgeous. Um, visual so, effects. Um, <clears throat> Armin Kravorkian uh, mm. is a director on. Uh, Super Supergirl and and Doom Patrol and Titans and The nice. Flash and Trek all that other stuff, and uh, he gave it to me. He also has the company. This company does all the graphics for the Arrowverse stuff. Wow! So, uh, yeah, dude, that's so cool. Yeah, I like it. That's great. How you been? <clears throat> I've been good. I've been good. You know, I've been. Uh, I'm in Vancouver right now, mm -hmm. and we're hanging out. Yeah. Um, we're uh, surviving. Yes, yes. As um, as as Vancouverites tend to do, they just kind of carry on, right? Yeah, you wouldn't even know that there was a pandemic right now in Vancouver. I see a lot of not ma non masks walking around. It makes me nervous. Yes. Um, but yeah, yeah, we're doing well. Good, excellent. Well, thank you for joining me. I, do you you don't Twitch much, right? You don't have don't. you don't you don't often do the Twitch thing, right? Um, no, I've never. This is my first time doing Twitch. I, so. and you were you were watching I when I were you watching when I was talking to Alicia before? We or did you just come I in? Was. Yeah, so it's no, kind I of just like. Long. So so it's 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 fun. You know, we got the I'm little chat. I'm watching things. the next step now. It's gonna be. Uh, that's oh, what mate, I'm gonna mate, you got seven seasons to get in on it, man. You got seven seasons. Oh my god. <laughs> seven seasons. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I need this coffee. I've been on air for five hours. I'm wrecked. I know. Um, um, the, the donations... Can I tell everyone how you and I met? Yes, please. By all means, tell that story, please. I love this. Okay, so uh, you know, oh, this is so weird because I'm looking at your video right now, and okay, it's delayed. Off, but... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry you can't um, see me, buddy. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> I was in a coffee shop, Jimmy's Coffee, in Toronto. And sitting down there at Wait, a table alone. Why? No, but why were you there though? Who recommended it to you? Tony Curran? Yeah. Maybe. Did he? I don't know. Yeah, no, he did. He said that he was going to bring his son in. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I mean, I wasn't there with Tony. No. I, I, this was independent of you. Mm. I think the Tony connection came afterwards. Even. Was it really? Because I, because this is my memory. I'm at okay. a coffee shop. I'm yes. alone. I'm at a table. Yes. And I, I hear nerdy talk. I hear, <laughs> I hear yes. someone talking X Men, yes. Spider Man. I hear it going on. I look to my left. I see a gentleman dressed as Doctor Who. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Yes. It's a tall British man in a brown trench coat. And I think there might have been a scarf. Yes, because um, it was cold. That's why. That's my winter. Cold. That's my full-on winter coat. My my tenth doctor coat. Yeah. I I follow the sound of nerd, <laughs> and I land, I land on a visual rep representation of it, and it was you. Yes. And you are talking, um, just comic book, just talking shop. Yes. To some dude at a, at a at a you know little two person table. Yes. yes. And you're like you're into it, you know. You're like sweating and you're <laughs> passionate. And this guy who you're talking to is just sitting there, no, not making eye contact. Not even, with you. not even registering what I'm talking about. Yeah. Kind of just <laughs> looking off into the distance, and I kind of, I you know, I, I follow the scent, and I I'm sitting alone. I start you know throwing some some little. Yeah. bits of information out yes, there yes yes kind of rebuttal if you will yeah yeah you know you caught wind of it 
you yeah. immediately get up off the chair and then you move to my table and sit down and continue well, he wasn't the talking to me. He didn't give a crap. I look over at the guy. The guy didn't even know you left. I know. And I realized, oh, this guy doesn't even, these guys don't even know each other. Yes. Here's this guy yes. just passionately talking about comics to basically a brick wall. Yes. Yes. You come over to my table. We start the discussion. We've been best friends ever since. Yes, yes, I agree. It's uh, to be fair, like this wasn't a random coffee shop. This wasn't like we were sat in a Starbucks and I just decided to assault you because you were there and noticed I was talking about comics. This was a shop that I worked at. Yeah, but, I, but you you weren't working at the time. No, you, you didn't know. I, you, you just thought I was a random customer. Yeah, and and yeah. I I believe I said don't worry I work here, which was the only reason I think you kept talking to me, because I, I wasn't know. just some random nerd r jumping at you, um, uh, but but it was it's kind of the it was kind of the tradition in that shop, that like, the the people, that worked behind the counter were very close with the people that worked that that, that came in, and so it, there was a very yeah. a, a very uh, welcoming and and friendly environment. That allowed I, me I started to... coming every day after that. I'll never yeah. play that much. Yeah, blame and, you. Right. Uh, and, then we and then I would even ask you, hey, can we run lines? Because I would have an audition or yes, something. Yes, I remember. And I'd come I over closed and, and you came and... over and ran lines. Absolutely. Yeah, you'd be closing up. The chairs would be on upside down. And, and we came in and we would run lines. And I, I just remember being like thrown by how grounded of an actor you were oh my god stop okay and, listen no. but this is and, not and the... then, oh, god. like you were you your voice cut through all the bullshit it was just you know when sometimes you run lines with people who aren't yeah. actors and they go but why are you going yeah. this? you know <laughs> but you, you were just you cut through the bullshit yeah. well, and i was i was like oh god this guy's much better than i am no and my god you need to got, stop i, I got can hang up right now phone. stop it I said, Mr. Hollywood? Yes. You know that new sound you're looking for? <laughs> and, uh, exactly. Yeah. And, no, and then up to five years later, you got your TNS fan base. That's you're raising never, money for a good never, cause. Yeah, I'm man. just so incredibly proud of you, my friend. Oh, mate. Thank you. Well, I, I honestly, I was just so happy that you said yes and you came on. Um, to be assaulted by people asking you random questions. Um, oh my god! And, and we we have we have a bunch of them, so we will 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 definitely get to them. All right. Um. Anyway. Uh, so so that's something to look forward to. Um. Also, Jesus Christ, the view count is great. Um. So, when did you before we before we go into the, like people's questions? When did you wrap on Supergirl for this season? Um. Do you, do you know the date? Let me ask Holly. It doesn't have to be specific. Also, hi, Holly. I don't know. The second or third week of... No, because my birthday was... Anyway. Um, we we were shooting um, episode 20, the, yes. the finale. Yes. And I honestly had n maybe not even one line, like one word left in the episode. Yeah. And uh, I think there was four days left of shooting. And, and when, uh, you know... They were things were getting real, yes. so we shut down. Um, um, Riverdale had shut down uh, like a day or two before us. Yeah, and it was good because we share the same lot. We shoot. We're next door neighbors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Riverdale and Supergirl, and I was like, oh my! If they're closing down and yeah. we're still going, it was <laughs> very. Um, so uh, shortly after that, um, we we closed down, and so we never got to finish episode twenty, and so. Season five ends with episode nineteen, and so it's like a big cliffhanger. Yeah. So you're gonna have to wait till we come back next season to um. Yeah. To see how you know it concludes. Sorry, yeah. I just have hair everywhere. Mate, it, welcome to my life, like dude. Try living with two long-haired cats. Don't even like it's. I give up. I give up all the time now. You just wake up and you're just like, yeah, you're yeah. pulling hairs out your throat. Well, the thing with the mustache is anything you do. Yeah, your mustache does it first. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. You, no, you, I don't need to lint roll any of the pillows because I can just rub my face on it and pull straight like nothing but cat hair. It's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you guys mm -hmm. are you guys close with the the Riverdale guys? Like, do you guys share a, a lunch room or whatever? No, um, not a lunch room, but you know what I mean. 
No, we're, I mean, we're separated by a fence. We, I can, yeah. you know, we see the you Pops can, you Diner. You throw things at them. Yeah, exactly. There's a, um, a, uh, like, a glory hole, if you will. What? In both sets. <laughs> There's like a little hole that you could look through. Yeah. Um, but that's it. I know that much. But that's it. I've right, so it's, so it's more just like, like, you might see people in parking lot or stuff, but it's not like, yeah, it's, it's, no. yeah, it's not like you guys have, have like, rap parties together or anything like that because no, i know because no. the only reason i ask is i know i know vancouver is so bloody small when it comes to the industry right like everyone well, knows everyone there's like this little area where all these shows shoot next to each other we, we sh it's us and then right next to us is riverdale right across from us is the 100 right um so yeah we all we all uh go to work at the same place but that's where it ends mm. right and so is it is it kind of um do you know, like, have you heard anything about, like, how Vancouver's doing in terms of opening? Because they're already talking about opening here. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, like, a soft open, I think, for, is it August or July? By August? Something like that. When we're, coming, when we're coming back? Yeah. I don't know. End of August, I think, maybe, is when we're supposed to come back. It's right. Everything's still so up, up in the air right now. Um, everything they're writing stories or ha they're bra they're breaking stories, mm. um, but it's all kind of fan fiction until yeah, until... everyone's just doing it at home and and you know staying safe exactly. or whatever, right? But but um, it looks good. It looks we're opt I'm optimistic about about it, and uh, so hopefully we should be getting back to work soon enough in a safe way. Good, that's good. I'm glad everyone's being safe because mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, like I've heard people from like you know the netflix shows that shoot out there they're planning they're not even planning until like october november before they come back in toronto which is right scary um but hey yeah. that's show business baby um, that's show business that's it that's it um okay so i'm gonna go into some of these questions because they're coming hard and fast okay um so uh bear with me while i just get these opened up yeah um, please Okay, so uh, this is from uh, the Rainbow is Me, who donated twenty dollars. Oh uh, wow! Uh, I I love Brainy and Nia. Uh, is it Nia? Nia? I'm sorry. It's Nia. 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 Nia yeah, yeah. Um, if Brainy survives, do you think they'll reconcile? I sure hope so. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I hope Brainy survives. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a paycheck would be nice. <laughs> and. Uh... <laughs> And uh, and I do, I, you know, I want them to get back together. It's 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 a shame, you know. Um, halfway through the season, Brainy removed his personality inhibitors. Yeah. And he kind of finally got to be his true self. But yes. then he was, uh, you know, tasked with the mission of being a double agent and yeah. and, and, and working with Lex Luthor and, and pretending, if you will, to be evil. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. no one really had a chance to get to know this, this uninhibited brainy. So yeah. I'd love, you know, it's, it's a shame Nia hasn't gotten to see that, you know, she encouraged mm. him to take off his inhibitors and be himself. And then, you know, he had to break up with her in order to work with Lex Luthor. And so, yeah, um, I, I, I really hope that, uh, that at least we get a chance for them to to have a nice conversation I where mean, that'll where be that'd be a lovely anymore. scene to, to to shoot god i can yeah, imagine and right it might have already been shot who knows you know um but uh yeah i i am um, you know i hope they get back together again i would mm. love the uh, um dream docs or whatever you want to call it um <laughs> I, I like them i like them together so i'm hoping yeah. They get another shot. Those crazy kids. Those crazy kids. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you guys have such great chemistry on on screen and you guys you do so well, you know. Um <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is from uh Fran Lux who did okay. $15. Thank you wow, very much thank for you. that. Wow, thank you. Thank um, you. what has been your favorite thing about Brainy and or playing Brainy so far? Oh my god, I love everything about playing Brainy. Um, it seems like such a fun role. It seems like it's such it like a... It, you, there's so much room to play with Brainiac, I feel like. Well, you know, what's cool... Okay, here's my answer. Um, the, my, my favorite part, and, and this can only be done on a superhero show or a sci-fi show, is that yeah. by playing Brainy, I can kind of play everyone. Yeah. Because 
you know, this character exists in every dimension in the multiverse. Yes. And so, uh, you know, in episode 10, I got to play, you know, four or five different characters mm. of the same character, different yeah. versions of the same character. Yeah. And, um, and that has, has been a blast. And I, I remember thinking, man, only on this show can I do this. Can I get away with, mm. with uh, doing this incarnation of this character? And then, you know, he goes through a transformation and becomes this version yeah. of the character. In season yeah. four, I did a scene where um, he was cycling through the mind of all these different ancestors. So in yes. one scene, I got to play like five different versions of him there. And yeah. So it, it becomes very uh, liberating and, and, and cathartic to, yeah. to do those type of scenes. And I can I can get the poison out that way, you know? And, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, and, it, it's, and it's just got to be, it's got to be so fun to just like, experiment and find those voices in you you know and, and and like and build off of off of the uh of the history of the character as well i imagine there's so yeah. many there's so many different angles to come from with brainiac exactly and that's the you know beauty of playing like a, a character that has um you know 70 plus years of source material is that mm. there's always something you can call upon to uh for insight on how to do some some a scene you know um yeah. there's like yeah, and then there's oh, there's definitely a lot of people, a lot of resources online for people who know, uh, with people who know much more about the character than yeah. I will ever. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, Wikipedia so is your I, friend I, for sure. Exactly, and so I, I I try to listen and hear everybody as much as I can, and, and hear what they like and hear what they don't like. And, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Maybe well, I, it isn't a good thing. <laughs> no, no, absolutely no. I think that's yeah. I think that's a good position to be in. I think I I was looking over the the Supergirl subreddit and like the the way that you showed the different um, development of each of the different Brainiacs that you worked on. You know, you had your jacket and you had the the right. you know the pure. What well, was it? Not the wholesome. I've forgotten the, the nickname you guys gave. Um, Ernest. Ernest, or, or, Ernest, that's or, it. The Ernest you know, Brainy, yeah. The perfect and like, brain or whatever, yeah. Yeah, and like, I think people really appreciated how much time and effort you put into like building off of those things. So I, I think- Yeah, you know, that that was really cool. Like almost every department um, allowed me to like stick my nose in uh, and give my, you know, my suggestions <laughs> for that episode. So I, I was really lucky that everyone was so collaborative and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was nah. pretty cool. Nah, it, Especially honestly, the wardrobe, you know, that they helped me, you know. Yeah. I always kind of find the character once I'm in the clothes. And, and so I, I worked closely with our costume um, designer, um, figuring out each brainies, wh what made them different and how they yeah. dressed differently and how that would inform the way they stood or, or mm. spoke or mm -hmm, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm. Yeah, very cool really really cool i'm hoping to do some something like that in the next season like just do another episode where there's a whole five new different yeah. brains i mean it's very know? much it's very it's uh, like were you in did you watch any of um shoot sorry i've been running too long my brain's broken but uh harrison wells had his council of council of wells is and that kind of thing absolutely it was the inspiration you know i i remember seeing um 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 uh, oh my god, what's his yeah, name? Yeah, I know, my um, brain's broken as well! <laughs> um, could someone in the chat tell us? Hang on, I'm gonna go, um, hang on. No, this is... I'm cheating. Um, uh, Tom Cavanaugh, there you go. Tom Cavanaugh, of course. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I remember watching, you know, I watched all The Flash, and, and I saw those Tom Cavanaugh scenes, and I was blown away. Mm. And just thought it was so cool for him that he got to reinvent his character every season. And, uh, and... You know, that was something that I knew that they'd done in the comics with Brainy before. Yeah. And I, the Council, the Council of Brainiacs, and I knew that from my new, uh, from Fantastic Four, like they would always do that with Reed Richards. They'd be like the yeah, Council of yeah, Reed yeah, Richards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always loved that. So I, I was lucky enough before shooting that episode 10, I, I got to talk to Tom Cavanaugh about this exactly. Oh, we wow. Were shooting, yeah, we were shooting Crisis on Infinite Earths, and yes. I had a scene where I was just in the same room as him. And, and we were talking, and and I I got to tell him about this episode I was about to do, and yeah. how you know, I was inspired by everything he'd done, and I told him about how my sister was going to come on to the show, and we shared a moment. And he gave me some advice, and we talked about the joys of being able to work with yourself, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and it was cool to have that conversation with him before shooting that episode. So no, I, yeah. I imagine I imagine it's like uh, it's it's very much. Um, 
a very small club of people that allow them that, that are allowed to say that they played no, multiple versions of themselves so that's really that's yeah, such, a, such yeah, a cool thing to yeah. have on your resume um right. i'm i'm just gonna quick fire quickly because I, I we're getting a bunch of questions and some okay yeah um <clears throat> uh so uh this is from uh lightning blaze uh, who yeah. donated? Who donated fifteen dollars? Um, were you a DC fan before you got the role on Supergirl, and how was it working on being human? Yes, I mean I was a fan of DC. I was a fan of all comics, DC, Image, and Marvel mm. were the top three. You know, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I I guess I was always more of a Marvel fan. Just being honest, growing up, I loved the X Men. The X Men were my favorite yes. team. Um, but I would read everything, you know, every time I'd hear there was a good book, I'd read it and I didn't care whether it was DC or Marvel. But yeah, I love everything DC mm. and uh, I, I never thought in a million years I'd be playing a superhero. So uh, it means the world to me. Uh, it's literally a dream come true. Um, yeah, DC all the way. Now I'm like even more of a DC fan. Mm. Now. Um, but uh, yeah, being human was awesome. I... I it was so cool and surreal to join to you know guest star on that show uh just because i saw this whole, the inception of the whole thing and i saw uh you know i was always like megan's little brother following yeah. her around with her yeah. the two sons going on you know these interviews or comic-con and that kind of stuff yeah yeah i yeah. literally went to comic-con with them as their guest and then the next year i was behind the table uh with defiance um, so it was a very surreal time, like yeah, yeah, yeah. To find starting and my sister on being human and and then coming onto that show, yeah, uh, it was very really cool. You know, they had a very special thing with that show, yeah. and um, you know, Megan has now been on our show as the female Brainy. Yes. Sam Whitmer has now was on season four as the villain of season four. He was yes. Benjamin Lockwood. Yes. So here's hoping that yeah, Sam Huntington yes, can finally make Sam it on. on. Then we'll yeah. Do Will, will be complete. You know, he played Jimmy Olsen, yes. as you know. Yes, in, uh, with Brendan. Yeah, I realize yes. that I'm friends with every single Jimmy yeah. Olsen incarnation. <laughs> yeah, Sam absolutely. Todd Brooks and um, and Aaron Ashmore. Yes. And so from Smallville. So you're just you're just yeah, collecting I, them like trading cards. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I would love uh, for for. Um, Sam Huntington to to do something in the Arrowverse. I know he wants to, um, so maybe there's something. Maybe oh, there's I'm sure. Um, there's so many characters. Maybe a Legion the... character, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, be... uh, shoot, I was going to ask something. Damn it! Uh, you know, Sam is on Twitch, right? Whitworth. I see that sometimes. Yeah, he plays like the four. He plays Star Wars games and he stuff plays like Star that. Wars. He also plays Thief, and then uh, he also plays like Diablo and Dungeons and Dragon, like like rock, right RPG type stuff well, he is the, the 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 dungeon master yes um, yes so indeed. We, were, we were trying to organize like a D, &D game where he was the dungeon, dungeon master, master for a while now like a supergirl cast one yeah uh, right. on the weekend, but it never happened but i'm still hoping that it does eventually i mean you guys have got time right now get it going mate yeah. everyone's all spread out now i think i'm the only one in vancouver i think maybe oh Stad. is it yeah but uh, but yeah, when we start again, that's that's what's going down. Nice. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, okay, Blaze donated. Blaze. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry to just rush through here. Uh, Blaze no, donated please. forty dollars. Sorry, not fifteen. I apologize, Whoa. Blaze, for getting that wrong. Um, I'm gonna skip ahead quickly because someone dropped a hundred dollars to ask oh. a question. Valkyrie eighty-eight A. That's a hundred dollar donation. Good answer. Um, do you think? The writers will be thorough with the recovery and reintegration of Brainy with the Super Friends next season, or is it going to be a quick, hey, he's out of the radiation, he's fine, and we're all friends again in five minutes. Thanks, take care. That's Valkyrie88A. Um, Thank know, you for the $100. I, I really don't know. You know, I, um, I, I can only hope that it's done, you know, it's given the justice it deserves mm. however that being said i personally don't like those scenes because i i don't i want everyone to be happy again <laughs> i hate everyone like holding grudges and like being sour towards me like yeah i don't like that i want to be a super yeah. friend again you know yeah. and, and uh, so but i do believe like like lena in in the season it's gonna be a struggle like mm. you know people aren't just gonna forget so easily 
Um, and, uh, you know, I'm sure that, that it's not going to be happy sailing for, for both of our characters, but it looks like we're working towards, um, you know, becoming friends again. Mm. Uh, who knows? You know, I, I can only hope. But, um, you know, I, I sure hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Friendship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Look, I want it to just be like, oh, we forgive you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? nah, it's fine. We understand. You were doing it fine. to save the world. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but, uh, but hopefully, that you know, there will we'll, there'll probably be a, a conversation at some point. <laughs> yes, definitely. Preferably not in a hallway. Like, like, let's get let's get a table conversation this time, huh? Yeah, yeah. Sit exactly. down and talk. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh god, these are coming in thick and fast now. Damn it. Uh, okay, I've done that one. Have I done this one? Uh, we've done that one. Okay, sorry. Carrying on. This is from Autumn. Uh, who donated twenty dollars? Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, hi Jesse, thank you for participating. Are there any brainy moments that you've liked that had to be cut for time that you can talk about? Especially in the bottle episode in the finale. Seems like Brainy is holding an invisible hand. Director Doc's question mark when he's uploading the shrinking code. So I wondered. Thank you. Uh, wait, you said it feels. It seems like he's holding an, an invisible hand yes. when I'm. Yes. Says, um, I especially don't... in the bottle episode in the finale, it seems like Brainy is holding an invisible hand. Director Doc's question mark when he's uploading the shrinking code. So I wondered. Um. Okay. Uh. I don't know. I, I thought, or maybe, are you talking about the finale episode? Well, like, could when be Brainy's in the finale. Gone? They said they, they said I... the bottle episode and the finale. So it could be. In yeah, the finale. You know, when 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 uh, female Brainy was next to me going like, you know, you did it, you did it, you, you mm. saved the world, mm. and I'll stick with it again. Um, uh, you know, that was happening inside Brainy's mind, you yes. know, and we're seeing her, and then we're, so we shot those scenes on three different days, actually. Because oh, really? We, only, we got Megan for one day, and then we yes. only got John Cryer for the next day, and then I did mm. myself on the third day. Mm -hmm. Those scenes happen where I'm completely alone, and then we did them again with, Megan Brainy, female Brainy, there next to me. Right. So there are moments where you know she takes my hand. I shot those same scenes holding like a fake, like no one's hand, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, so that they get cut between the two. So I think maybe that's what they're thinking about. And yes, I was holding female director Docs's invisible hand there. Right, right. Um, in terms of the bottle episode, I'm trying to think what we're, I'm, there's every, in every episode things get cut, you know, for yes. time and the yes. scripts are so huge and yeah. So, you know, a lot ends up getting cut. Um, but there was something in that episode, there was a fight scene that got cut that was pretty awesome. Um, mm. Nora and evil Brainy get into a fight when she when he like reveals that it's him in yes. disguise. Yes. Uh, there's like a really dope fight scene that ensues that was cut for time or for whatever reason. Right, right. Um, but I, you know, Nicole and I had learned this this fight and rehearsed it, and we even sh filmed some of the rehearsal. Like mm -hmm. I have on my phone, maybe mm -hmm. I'll post it. Nowadays. But it was pretty cool. I love doing those those fight scenes, and it's always a shame when they they get cut. But that's the name of the game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. They don't. There's there's uh, a <clears throat> there's a bunch of stuff got cut from from our second half of our season. That, that uh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge amount of stuff because they just they just overfilm stuff. Because they're just like, right. sod it, let's just go for it. Let's just get whatever we can and, and, and we'll figure it out in post. Yeah, um, yeah. Which is but, great, yeah. you know. Um, uh, Valkyrie said, Valkyrie88, who was the one that donated $100, said something along the lines of it's when your hand was over the console, when your left hand is hovering over the control panel. Yeah, yeah. Is that a, it was a, it was a holding, holding your sister's hand thing? Um, I don't know if I was holding her hand there, but the way that that console worked, like we didn't have to tap, like it wasn't like you yeah. pressing button, just kind of hovering above it, like. Uh, so it's, right, right, right. So it's more and like it, right, right, right. I like that. Whenever I get like a piece of like, you know, um, machinery from the future, I so try to find just like your hands in the air of maneuvering it. You know, <laughs> like you wouldn't think would be like a twenty first century like. I'm just going to type in, you know, it's like, oh, you have yeah. to do some sort of hand thing. Yeah. Some Dr. Strange hand motion in order to operate it. Or I yeah. play like a piano, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was doing a lot of hand acting there for that. So that's, that's 
probably what you saw. I specialize in hand acting. Hand acting, yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, yeah. They, they, that's like three years of drama school right there, buddy. Hand acting. Yeah. Um, so this is from Maddie Langdon, who is a, a cast member of mine. She plays Winnie oh. on the show. She's a huge fan of Supergirl and of you. Oh. Uh, she dropped $35. Uh, yeah, Maddie Langdon. Um, Brainiac 5 has had a few different looks. Which was your favorite? Definitely the the most recent look. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the green. Yeah. One thing it, um, you know, I liked, I liked the, you know, the blue, it was always, because the lighting of every mm. scene changed, it's hard to to, ha to keep continuity um, of just the right color tone for that blue. Yes. Um, and you know, it was. J but I. But other than that, I. You know, I liked the blue, but it's just that prosthetic forehead was was a struggle yes. to to have on all yes. the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's much easier to just be painted. I feel much more free to emote. Yes, and, and you do have a lot of experience with being painted. I do. I yes. do. I yeah, for those of you who don't know, I was on a show called Defiance where I played an albino alien and uh it was a lot of fun actually. I, yeah. I, I enjoy getting painted. You know, it was easier I'd see on that show because everyone got painted, like the entire cast, yeah, half, yeah, yeah, yeah. half of the aliens, and so it was like a solidarity thing. You'd come you come to work, you'd sit in the chair and everyone would get painted together and it was mm. part of it, you mm. know, and so it, it's 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 more um, labor intensive when you're the only one getting painted on the show, like Supergirl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but but man, I love I love the green and blonde look. It's it's the way he looks in the comics. It's the way he he should have always looked. But I love it that I love that that's not how we started because if we started green, we would have never gotten episode ten where I turn from yes. blue to green. Yes, and I, I thought agree. it was so cool the way we like, um, um, like kind of wrote that into the story and made sense of the the image inducers, and that's why yes. he, there was yes, white and that's yes. why he was blue. And yeah. I'm so grateful for that episode that I wouldn't change a thing. So I'm happy that it, he the looks progressed the way it has. So do you think? But do yeah, you think we'll see? <clears throat> do you think we'll see? Do you think we'll see more more of you in the green going forward if if Brainy survives? Do you think? Because uh, you still have the image inducer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm always, I always push for it when it makes sense, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I always, and so whenever I think it makes sense, I should be green. I'll always be vocal about it, and mm -hmm. uh, and so I hope so. You know, I, I, I want him in green all the time. Yeah. You know? So yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I'm sure we are going to get much more. Green. I mean, it looks it looks fantastic. It 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 really works on camera, and you look yeah, fantastic well, in it. So we found I, a nice place with it. Yeah, I I'm agree. happy. And the and the new suit is straight fire. And the new suit is is sex, man. It's sexy yep, pants. Yup. Yup. Uh, yep. Okay. Let me let me bolt onto these. Um. Uh. So we got a couple. Uh, a couple of donations from people. Thank you for those donations. Uh, Fran Lux, who donated ten dollars, would like to yes. say, how do, you, uh, "How do you think Brainy has changed by taking off his inhibitors, personality-wise?" I think he's more uh, in tune with his emotions, whereas before, mm. it's emotionally stunted. He didn't understand mm. his own mm -hmm. emotions. He didn't know where they came from. He couldn't. He couldn't express himself properly. I still think he's the same guy. He's the same quirky, lovable dude from before. Mm -hmm. Except now, I think he's he's more socially aware and 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 just more um, um, in tune with his emotions. He's grown. And he's grown as a he's character. Grown, yeah. But but it's not to say he's like, uh, 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 you know, a whole new person or anything. He he, he he's the I, I you know I, I don't know how I'm gonna play it yet. That's great. But, uh, Oh, that's but, exciting, though. Yeah, but but you know, I want it. I want people to know that it's it's still the same guy, and 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 taking off the inhibitors and his being him true his true self wasn't that isn't what made him evil. He wasn't evil all along. He, that was a plan that he um, begrudgingly uh, um, went through with, uh, you know, under duress. Like he he, he didn't want to have to yeah. double cross friends, you know. But yeah, he was doing yeah. it to save their lives so that wasn't necessarily a result of him taking off of taking off his inhibitors 
that was mm. just uh, mm. what happened yeah no well i think i think it, it really plays well into into what the character uh needs going forward Absolutely. yeah yeah it's growth it's change you know it's which is always good yeah um so this is a ten dollar donation from super anna 835 and she super asks anna. super anna uh she asks i just started reading old legion uh, i presume yeah. old Legion comics and i found out that brainiac 5 and supergirl are in a relationship any chance we'll get to see that play out i would love to see it um i can't tell you I, <laughs> I <don't... laughs> I... yeah I, I, I don't know if it'll ever happen, Yeah. Um, but you never know. Who mm. knows? Um, you know, I, I think, you know, we discovered uh, a beautiful chemistry with me and Nicole on the show. Yes. And and that seems to be working out great. You know, we love, yeah. even though we, you know, this mm. last season was spent with us kind of hating each other, um, it was, it's always a lot of fun to shoot those scenes with Nicole and, and, and I love our relationship together. Um, you know, that being said, I always like to, you know, tip our hats to certain things, you know, and and and, and mm. I know that there are a couple in the comics, so you know, you, you never know what will happen. There's mm. a multiverse out there, so absolutely, you know, and it's its own know. thing. It's like I, I think, like I felt this way with when they started doing uh, the Flash and and then Supergirl and stuff like that. They had um, compare it to Smallville where Smallville kind of gave it like little nods, but it was kind of very much its own, its mm. own continuity, its own universe and things like that. Whereas like all of the kind of Arrowverse shows very much embrace the, 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 of what the comics did, but then kind of also build their own universe around that. And so mm -hmm. like, not necessarily, you know, things that happen in the comics and our, and our canon might not necessarily happen in your show, but it'll still be like, addressed in some capacity because everyone working on these shows loves the source material as much as they yeah, do yeah. not and that's not, what you I know about crisis on infinite earth it kind of validated all these other like yeah incarnations of these characters you know and so you know who knows you know we we have seen the perfect brainy where he kind of looks more like the cartoon with the yes. purple suit and yellow belt and the yellow boots and so yeah yeah you know who knows there, there there could be other dimensions where things transpire differently absolutely um, absolutely so. um so wow. just just to borrow you for a pause for a second hey babe yeah. uh anthea donated 125 dollars that's nikki's toddler daughter just donated 125 dollars uh, 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 niece excuse me not daughter toddler niece just donated 125 dollars thank you maria and austin for the 125 and also your papu and yaya donated 35 papu yaya papu and yaya donated 35 dollars so thank you for that guys um i've got a couple more um yeah. if i just refresh i think Oh no, no, that was it. Oh no, I had questions for me. I had questions. Have you been reading uh, Bendis's Legion? I've been collecting. I had read the first three issues. Mm. I think there's only six out or something right now. Um, yeah. Uh, I've been collecting them. They're being held for me at my comic book store in Montreal. Yeah. Uh, with all the variant covers and everything. Um, I'm kind of waiting for them to, to add up before I kind of like dive in. Mm. But. Uh, yeah, I love I love that artwork too. I I'm not sure who the artist is. Do you, do you remember? I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but I love the way they got Rainy in it with his like crown. Yes. Um, yes. Got, like his three. Um, yeah. 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 I. What you, you know, during the pandemic, I've actually been going back and reading a lot of my old comics. So. Mm. Yeah. What are you What are you uh, reading at the moment? I want. You know, there was a time where I wanted to read like every single X Men book, and I got through like thirty years of X Men. Yeah. Um, now I'm kind of doing the same thing, but in like the modern era. So I started off with like uh, Grant Morrison's New X Men, and then I moved to Astonishing X Men from that, and then I read um, Enemy of the State, Wolverine, Enemy of the mm -hmm. State. Mm -hmm. Now I'm on to Cable and Deadpool, nice. which I never read, but oh, I, you know, come on, that's a classic. It's so great, like. It's so because this came out before the movies, right? So it's yeah. so, it's so funny to have seen those movies and now read these books because I can just hear Ryan Reynolds's voice. <laughs> yeah, I know. He even just refers to himself as looking like Ryan Reynolds, and the like dynamic with him and Cable and and him joining like the X Men. It's just so funny. Like 
it's been a while since I've like read a comic and like was like found myself laughing out loud. Yeah. So I'm having a good time reading those Cable and Deadpool issues right now. Yeah. Thanks. Well, the I've been reading um, I've been reading uh uh uh, uh the the new X Men ones by Hickman. It's, oh yeah. It's an interesting run. It's yeah. really it's really interesting where they're they're basically just cheating death all the time. They just oh, yeah. like they've figured out a way to clone perfectly and right, okay. and uh xavier has a giant cerebro that he just carries around on his head somehow that has everyone's consciousness backed up and they literally right. just clone they send people on suicide missions all the time they're like yeah cool just go just go blow this thing up if you die it's fine we got you backed up and Is then he like, like, evil? like evil no they literally just go like like every x-men comes together and goes okay we're gonna go and live on an island and they go and live on an island kind it's not genosha but it's kind of genosha yeah and they literally yeah. are just like trying to declare themselves a new nation and they're not letting humans decide whether they are or not allowed to yeah. it's it's a cool. real and there's a lot of stuff like there's a there's a character that like every time she dies she goes back to the beginning of her timeline yeah so she keeps trying to change the future over and over and over again and there's only one way that she's found it to work and he he's not shown how that is yet and she's in a relationship with xavier and it's really there's a lot of stuff like sinister knows a bunch of stuff he's not telling anybody there's a bunch of secrets what do you do with all of the bad guys and stuff it's it's really cool this is a uh, new x-men yeah and it's yeah, jonathan yeah. hickman jonathan hickman yeah yeah, I love Hickman, man. Have you ever read his Fantastic Four run? I think I read some of it. I didn't finish it though. I think it's it's well, it's, it's it's an investment. It's an investment with him because like sometimes well, his his storylines can take like ten years to come out practically. That's right. <laughs> okay, you man, know? A lot of, but, but if you did you like it starts with Mark M Miller, Mark Millar. Mark Millar, yeah. Yeah, it starts. It's yeah. Mark Millar, uh, yeah. Fantastic Four. Yeah, and it's like so good. It's yeah. like you're like, oh my god, this is the best it's ever been, and it won't ever get better than this. And then Jonathan Hickman takes over from Mark Millar, and it just like exceeds all expectations. Yeah, and then it turns into the Future Foundation. Yes, uh, it's really good stuff. It's like I mean, he's he's a phenomenal writer. It's just that you've got to. I think it's very much like with Hickman, you've got to like know what you're getting into and i think people that start off don't know what they're getting into and they got they get like bored they don't know there's payoff coming you know what i mean mm. so sometimes they'll just be like okay what is going on here i don't understand why am i investing my time in this when you know we've lost like half of our audience because we're just <laughs> I realize, dude, people are really, like, so bored right now. this is the, and this is the kind of thing that we i sat down and started talking at you about <laughs> Let me say this before, I think we only have not a lot got, of time. Yeah, left. we only got a couple, yeah. If there's anyone still listening, I think everyone's probably logged out by now already, but uh, <laughs> the the Plague Nerdalogs. I want to talk about that. Go um, for it, go for it. You've got have a you checked that out now? No. Okay, so you you know you know Mark Bernardin. Yes. So Mark Bernardin, uh, writer, podcaster. Yes. Um, uh, the Kevin Smith podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, now he reached out to me and asked me to do to take part in this the the plague nerdologues. So if you yes. look that up, the link is in my bio on yes. my Instagram. Um, basically, uh, it's a bunch of genre actors uh, doing scenes from famous movies. Yeah, and you basically you can donate any sum to watch to gain access to the entire library. Mm -hmm. So you can donate a dollar if you want yep. and you'll get every single access to all their their clips. And there's all these celebrities doing famous scenes from movies. Yes. So I'm up there, I did like a Jurassic uh, Park, Jeff Goldblum scene. Yeah, because of and, course. Because uh, <laughs> obviously. And, uh, but like there's there's uh, Will Forte does like um the the Liam Neeson taken speech nice you know nice they're like I know who you are uh, uh, yeah <laughs> a particular set of like, skills it's so funny he does it like you know I know who you are I'm gonna be a nightmare for you people <laughs> like I have a very special set of skills it's so funny um uh, you know Jay Farrow does like the Aragon speech 
Yes. Uh, Kevin Smith does this Ratatouille one. Grant Gustin, The Flash, you know, he does Captain America's speech from Civil War, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Gave me chills. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of celebrities up there, um, a lot of fun videos. Is that the, uh, sorry, is that the You Move speech? The, the, uh, when they tell you to move, when they tell you like, to move, you're like, no, you move. I don't know. I think it's a speech where he tells him he's like, he's like, you're, he's like, I'll be a friend. Like I'm your, I'm your friend, and like when you need me, like I'll be oh, there. Oh, that one. Right, 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 right. Great. Yeah, um, right. people in the chat, people in the chat are asking whether it works internationally or if it's region locked to the U.S. Well, I'm in Canada right now, and I and I did it and worked fine. So okay, I, I, I'm not sure, but yes. I, well, at least at least in the u.s and canada it works so, yes uh, yes yeah yeah you well I, I highly recommend people do it it's it's uh for a good cause what, what's the charity yeah. that it's, it's going to sorry um the charity it's black lives matter black lives matter right yeah, yeah. right so you know it's great charity bunch of great content for you guys to watch um it's it's uh, well worth it and it's been well worth having you on here. Thank you so much for joining me, mate. Thanks it's been doing wonderful. This, man. this is awesome that you did this. And uh, um, I'm so proud of you. And, oh, uh, stop it. You have stamina. But, uh, mate, yeah. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's been lovely chatting to you and, and just being able to, to, you know, we should do this more often, please, because we've got yeah, nothing man. else to well, do. You know, next time I'm in, anytime I'm in Toronto, I always oh, try yeah. to call you. Oh, yeah. Legit. No, yeah. but I mean, yeah. just like, you know, God, if, if we ever yeah. manage to leave our houses. Yeah, yeah, one day. <laughs> one day. Um, wonderful. Okay, let's get ones in the chat. Jesse Rath. He's a, he's a man of the people. Jesse Rath. What a wonderful Who's actor. Who's up next? Uh, Reed Diamond. Oh. I know. I'm going to ask him how Will, uh, Just Whedon smells. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, right that's on, it. Man. All right, buddy. It's been great, great well, talking to you. Thank fun, you very and, much. Uh, best of luck. Yeah. And thanks to everyone who, who came on. And thanks for donating to Color, Color of Change. Yeah. And I uh, love you all. Yes. Mwah. Okay. Bye, mate. The Thank you. Mother. Mother. <laughs> Bye. Bye. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone already. There you go, guys. What? Oh, yeah. Can, uh, what, what flavor are they? Vegetable cracker. Can I have one and try it? Nikki bought vegetable crackers. Is is you know? Here's an eat. Here's a, a cracker review. Oh, those are good. Like mhm. Mm oh, that was good. Jesse Rath, ladies and gentlemen, pushed us over fifteen hundred dollars. We're at sixteen eighty-seven right now. Hey. Hey. Right? Um.